Welcome back, everybody, to the Road Show this morning in the Buzz, brought to you by the Comedy Connection. So yeah, we've been uh, we've been talking about it all morning long. The 96th. Academy Awards were last night. That's right, and to no surprise, Oppenheimer had seven total wins, including Best Picture and Robert Downey Jr. for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. Emma Stone, love her, won Best Actress in a Leading Role, and Poor Things won Production Design and Makeup and Hairstyling. Other than uh, than the winners, Entertainment Tonight did go, went over some of the other key highlights with us uh, just a little bit ago, including John Cena, who was really, really brave, <laughs> wearing an envelope to present costume design, and it was fun. Yes, he did. But let's not forget about the performances either. Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connell performed What Was I Made For? And of course, Ryland Gosling saying I'm Just Ken, which we just saw to some clips of. So so we wanted to know, look, I, I know a lot of people, you know, you're sitting at home and a lot of people, you you say anything about award seasons, whether it's whether it's the Oscars, People Choice, any of these things, mm -hmm. the Grammys, you know, there's people who are whining and complaining and saying, wow, 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 I'm not going to watch any of yeah. these things. I like watching these things. It's a little bit of an escape to watch to watch these to watch these shows. And I enjoyed watching the Oscars last night. It was not a bad show. I thought Jimmy Kimmel did a decent job for 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 what he had to do. Yeah. It was a decent it was a decent show. I like that it started at seven o'clock. It was something else to watch on TV. Yeah. Well, you know, I usually you know I'm skimming through trying to find something. Well, you know, we were talking this morning too. Obviously, now like we were saying, award season is now over. Right. And if you like glitz and glam and Hollywood, I mean, the Oscars is. There's sure no reason is. why it's the one that kind of like is the end of the award season. The one that they show is that. That it really is all right. about bringing back, you know, that Hollywood. It's exciting for entertainment. If you're into movies, if you're into obviously the music and sure. stuff that was also nominated, it is a great show. Right. To kind of, I love the fashion. Yes, that for me has kind of been always one of my favorite to watch, and I love getting the feedback online. Right. Like I love watching and then having my phone right. and getting and like through, and, and getting what everyone's saying looks good, right. it's not good. I miss Joan Rivers. Yes, I, you know, Our, I, look, rest in peace. I e, miss her so much. He is a shell of itself. Oh. If you really want to know, because I turned that on for like two minutes last night. I some of the movies that were out, I really do want to see. I know, uh, you know, uh, uh, Amy who works here, she said it took her a long time to get through Oppenheimer, but I do want to watch. Yeah. Oppenheimer. What but is I it? Three hours. Was it like three, it three hours? hours? Yeah. yeah, it's like three you hours. You gotta be committed. You no, know, you gotta be. You gotta yeah. like block out a whole a lot of time right. for it. I want to see that. I think it looks like it's a good movie. The Holdovers, which was shot in, uh, in a lot of it in New Bedford yep. with uh, Paul Giamatti, I want to see. I, I want to see that as well. Yeah, and I actually I didn't see Poor Things, but I'm dying to see that because I do love Emma Stone. I like her too, and it, and, it, and and I like Mark uh, Mark Ruffalo, oh, Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo he's too. Awesome. He's just, and he's here in Rhode Island a lot. Yeah, he's here in Rhode Island. The movie looks. A little weird for me, but it's still, it still—it has it a looks, cool. I was gonna say it looks look. cool. It has a cool look to it. So a lot of times, a lot of these things after seeing them, I do want to, you know, end up watching a lot of these. It's playing at the Avon. Is it playing I at the that. Avon? I do want to see that. Yeah, I do want to see that. All right, Brendan, did you? Uh, what do you think? I mean, does this make you want to watch any of these? Well, first of all, Will Oppenheimer, if you want to see a bomb, just watch one of my segments. <laughs> it's not <Boom>. that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, I was talking to Steven Feinberg earlier. Right. I remember a long time ago when it used to be just about like five nine nominees for Best Picture. Now, as Sean was telling me, we have 10. Yeah. It makes it a little harder. I mean, if you know they're all, they're going to all be great films, but maybe you don't have the time to watch all 10 of them. Yes. Yes. But you appreciate, I think, you know, movies, they will always be such a great escape. You know, I remember yeah, during COVID, no one was going to the movies, and now going back, there's nothing like being in the theater and just immersing yourself in a good story for a couple of hours. I agree. Right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And the Academy Awards kind of reaffirm that. You know, cinema is who we are. Yes. Right? And right. I thought Jimmy Kimmel was great. I love a good wordplay. I love jokes. And I liked when he was introducing the people who would be presenting for best adapted screenplay. And he goes, at what age do you tell a screenplay that it was adapted? <laughs> yes, yes. You know, that's a BK that's joke. Smart. That's a BK That's joke. a silly BK joke. So next time I make some horrible pun here on the air, remember, <laughs> the host of the Oscars made that joke. So mm -hmm. it's all about silly and having fun, and that's what I love. Let's check in with our viewers, see what you had to say about this topic. Right here this morning, I'm going to turn Oscar around so he can see the comments. And he's got those fabulous glutes, as we saw at the beginning of the show. Linda's up first. Yes, I watched. Love, like Audrey says, the fashions. And, of course, the entertainment. Absolutely. Dawn adds, I did watch. I didn't see any of the movies, but I always like the show. I only wish the they would have the memorials so you could read them. That part was hard to follow. Yeah, it's tough to get all those names in and, and really to have the, the time to honor those people because there are certainly so many of them who we miss. Rhonda shares, I liked the dog in the audience. <laughs> we need a roadshow 
that yes. other than me. And Nathan closes things out with, I watched, I have always been, hashtag Team Oppenheimer. It's the bomb. Oh, very nice, Nathan. Thanks for chiming in, everyone, and please keep those comments coming. We love when you're a part of the show. Follow us at The Road Show on Facebook, X, and Instagram. Leave your comments, and you never know, Oscar and I, turn back around, may read yours right here on the show. <laughs>